Hello, and welcome to Eddie Voice Remote. My name is Yanaris, and I'll be your guide to setting up your controllers to talk to Eddie. So, what is Eddie? Eddie Voice Remote is your companion for controlling your infrared devices using global cache hardware. Soon, you will be able to say, Alexa, turn on living room TV. First things first, you need to have a compatible global cache controller. What does this mean? If your global cache controller has infrared or serial, then Eddie supports it. The most common controller is this one right here, IP2IR. Below in the notes is a link to show you all the compatible controllers. Does Eddie support any other controller besides global cache? Yes we support Zemo. But for this guide, I will only focus on setting up global cache devices. So you need to decide which method you want to connect to Eddie. There are two methods, one, port forwarding, or two, Eddie Bridge. What is port forwarding and Eddie Bridge? Good question. Port forwarding is the process of configuring your router to make your controller accessible to Eddie and to the world. Outside of your local network, it's technical and has been around for years and it works. But security conscious people would say that it's not ideal and can be a security problem. For that reason, Eddie Bridge exists. So what is it? It's a piece of software that runs on your Raspberry Pi and avoids port forwarding. All the traffic is connected via a secure connection back to Eddie. Here is a diagram to visualize the difference. In port forwarding, you see that the router has a port open that this will allow Eddie to talk to your controller. So you will need access to your router. In Eddie Bridge method, you need to have a Raspberry Pi and set up Eddie Bridge software. As you can see, Eddie will talk directly to Eddie Bridge and avoid port forwarding. But which method do you pick? It depends. Do you have Raspberry Pi? If so, pick Eddie Bridge. Are you worried about your security and or scared of port forwarding or have no clue how routers work? No problem, pick Eddie Bridge. Do you have access to your router or want a free solution? Pick port forwarding. Time-wise, both processes can be about the same, which is about 30 to 60 minutes. Okay, so you made the decision to try port forwarding or Eddie Bridge. Let's continue. Click on one of the next two videos, port forwarding or Eddie Bridge. See you in the next video.